Welcome everyone to the full game of Wizard 101, Episode 5. Now last episode we fought Sergeant Skullsplitter, we got our level 7 spell, and we also finished Firecat Alley. This episode we will be going into Cyclops Lane, and we will be talking to Nolan Stormgate. Is that is the last street in Old Town. Wow, I haven't been in here for a while either. I forgot about all these lumbering trolls that walk around. <clears throat> and the Cyclops Legionnaires. They look pretty cool. So let's see what Nolan has to say. What are you doing here? Only talented wizards like me should be out on these dangerous streets. Think you have what it takes? This place needs real heroes. We'll see if you can make the grade. Let's see how useful you are. Professor Drake put me in charge of a very important mission. Magical artifacts from the old death school have resurfaced. I've decided you're going to recover the one inside the spooky dark cave. Every other student I've asked has been too afraid to go, so I'm hoping for better from you. Battle everything in the dark cave until you find the ruined skull. Okay, if I remember this uh, quest correctly, <clears throat> this one is more of a rare chance to get uh, what we need, so I'll probably be fighting a bunch of stuff in here. And if it takes too long, I'll just cut it out, but we'll head in and see how easy or difficult it is. <clears throat> and I'm also pretty sure that the dark cave goes around. Yeah, it connects to Firecat Alley. So, I always thought that was really cool. It's like a back entrance. And it actually goes around Triton Avenue, because you can't access Triton Avenue from there. So, we will fight, we'll just, we'll just fight like a rotting fodder. We'll see how many this takes. I'm guessing it's going to take a lot, but hopefully we can get lucky or something and get it early on. <clears throat> they still use their myth shields in here. I'm pretty sure that if I did the side quest with Penny Dreadful, uh, she would take me into... Or no. No, I would just go here because she would... I think she like wanders in here or something and we have to save her. So. I've done every single quest like 100% on my fire wizard. What? I seriously got that first try? Um, hmm. I was not expecting that at all. I thought that was going to be like a really rare chance to get. But, <laughs> well that's good. Now we have it. Okay, let's talk to Nolan then, because... I could have sworn that was a lot more difficult, like previously. They did change the beginning area of this game a lot, so I guess that's probably why. You found the rune skull? Huh. Faster than I could have imagined. Professor Jake will be pleased with me. I told a few students to pick up death relics up the street. Now they're nowhere to be found. No doubt gabbing instead of working. Can you look after the students on the slim, slim chance that something's happened to them? I'd start with the trolls. They look shifty. Gotta go fight some lumbering trolls now. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure we're not in the area where uh, creatures can, like, two can get in a fight. I think that's once we get into Colossus Boulevard. I think that's when it starts. So. Uh, oh yeah, we have our Thermic Shield now. Let's use that and see if he uses anything against it. And are these guys myth? I think they are. Maybe. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think if they're myth, then they might use storm shields. Yeah, they are myth. I don't know if they have storm shields. Scarlet Screamers, that's what they're called. They, um, they do not actually use storm shields. I, just, I looked it up and I found out, so. That's, it's good to know, though, for the future, I guess. I should probably start looking up, like, creatures and seeing what spells they have before I say anything about them. Just so I don't look dumb saying it. I will. We'll just use another thermic shield. We'll be using probably thermic shields until. <clears throat> My throat. We we'll probably be using them until we get out of Wizard City because I'm guessing we'll have tower shield by then. Because I think you have to be level 16 to get tower shield. And I mean we're about to be level 9 actually so. Slowly but surely, we will get there. I'm guessing we'll be level 15 by the time we leave this place anyway, so... 
The tower shield is extremely helpful. Especially against like bosses who hit really hard. So there we go, second try. <clears throat> I think we have to fight some kind of like boss cyclops at some point. What is this? A letter? How odd. Trolls can't read. By the handwriting, a cyclops wrote this. They never dot their eyes. It's addressed to M, whoever that is. I should take a look at it if students are in danger. Great fire, Bats! The Cyclops have kidnapped the students! Oh, good thing you found this. We must act immediately! I hope they're not gonna blame me for those students getting themselves kidnapped. I know! I'll inform Professor Drake at once. He'll know what to do. When I tell him how those students got themselves kidnapped while I was... On second thought, I think you should go tell him. I'll stay here and keep an eye on those Cyclops. Okay, so it's one thing to put the blame on me, but then it's another to make a joke that bad. Nolan, you you disappoint me, you know. So let's head to Ravenwood. Ooh, someone has the... Um, Baba Yaga's house... Mount, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name. <clears throat> Probably should have left a mark, too. My throat is not cooperating with me today. And then again, it never does. So, really shouldn't be any surprise to me. What do you want? Professor Drake sneers at the ransom note. Here, take this message to Victor Darkwood, the robe shopkeeper. Be quick about it. Time is of the essence here. I always thought this quest was interesting. If no one's ever, uh, if you, whoever's watching this, has never seen this before, then you might think it's kind of funny. But we have to go to who? Victor Darkwood. I think he's the only uh, NPC in the shopping district that actually has a voice. Like, that's somewhat interesting. Like, his is definitely different than all the other voices in this game, I think. Which I thought, I think is pretty cool. I think they also changed his voice, actually. Along with all the guards in this place. Ah, a message from Professor Drake. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been expecting you. You'll need to hurry back with this. The shopkeeper retrieves a large sack and hands it to you. Here you go. Professor Drake's laundry. Freshly cleaned and pressed. And don't let it drag on the pavement now. Oh, look, now he's laughing at me at the end of that. <laughs> so yeah, we have to go take his laundry now uh, to him. But, no, I guess they didn't change it. He still sounds the exact same that he did before. Well, I guess that's pretty cool. I still like the old voices more than the newer voices in this place. <clears throat> so we'll see what Cyrus has to tell us about his laundry. That certainly took you long enough. Professor Drake shakes his head at you. You're still worried about those missing students? Yes, well, this is definitely a problem. Take this message to the headmaster. That should resolve things to my satisfaction. Uh, I know where this one's going too, so... We'll see in just a second. Ooh. Wow, there's a lot of people in Pixie right now. That's the realm I'm in, and it's kind of surprising because it's a very unpopular realm. Hmm. Ah, young wizard, it's good to see you. You have a note for me. Let's see it. The headmaster reads Professor Drake's note. I will not expel you from the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, regardless of what Professor Drake thinks of you. You are not responsible for the problems on Cyclops Lane. General Achilles and his men promised to drive out the trolls. Now, Achilles has gone back on his word. I fear there is something more sinister behind Achilles' change of heart. This M is to blame. We will need to know more. Drake is of no use here, but you have been most helpful. Go back to Nolan Stormgate and help him straighten this out. There's those two quests. Questicles again. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't give them that name. That sounds weird. Yeah, but I don't know why I lag so much, because Fraps is the only thing that's open besides Wizard 101, so it's kind of weird. Well, I wasn't expecting Professor Drake to leave everything to us. He must really trust me. 
Professor Drake is expecting big things. The Cyclops General Achilles wrote the note, so we need to reach his keep. But to do that, we need a gate pass. Maybe... Can you steal one from the Warhorns? All you have to do is defeat some. Yeah, that should be easy enough. I'd like to see him fight some. Okay, Warhorns. Let's go see how difficult or easy they are. I don't, I don't think they're that difficult. Um, but they're all the way down here. They also look pretty cool. They're like a Minotaurs. Right over here. Yep, there's one. I wonder if any of the creatures in Wizard City use Storm uh, shields, because, I mean, the Scarlet Screamers don't, so why would anything else use them? I don't know. Let's see what he uses. Ooh, he has a trap. That's something that Myth definitely does like doing, is using traps. Scarlet Screamers use them all the time. And he fizzled. That looked like a good combo. I think he was about to use Troll. Let's see how much damage this does. We boost, so... Is that not kill still? Wow. They have a good amount of health. Well, this will kill. 100%. Although, yeah, he's gonna be able to hit. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be a Storm Shark. <laughs> that wouldn't be too good. There we go. 55 with the boost. And did not collect. Let's try this again. I'll try one more time and then I'll cut if I don't get it again. There we go. No more over here. I'm gonna head around here and see if I can find one. There's one. There's a lot more further down the road, but it's just easier to grab like one here. There's just a few that walk around. Um, yeah, we'll just thermic shield. I don't know how much I'll be using lightning strike, because, I mean, yeah, it's helpful, but there's still the chance that it, I'll fizzle, even if I use it, so it's almost not really worth it, in my opinion. I think this is able to kill him, but the first one, the one, the damage that we did to the other one was, like, really weak, like the lowest amount. <laughs> 250, wow. Stepping up their game. I hope our General Achilles fight does not go as badly as Alakane Swift arrows. I still don't know why I did so bad. Yeah, there we go. And no pass. Okay, well, I'm really glad that I cut that out because... <clears throat> that took... Well, I, I obviously put in, like, the first two fights, but then, uh, including that fight, we had... I did five battles off-camera. <laughs> so, it took me seven Warhorns just to get this pass. And I'm guessing that hasn't changed, because it used to be like that as well. So, they still kept chances low for some quests, at least. Not for all of them, though. Because that Ruined Skull still surprised me with how easy it was to get. I like how, like, Greek-like the uh, houses look here. Like, he's like a pillar. There's pillars over here. That's pretty cool. And this is also the place where we go to... What is it called? Aquila. Yeah, we get to ride on the chariot over here. And then we fly away or something. And that's how we get to Mount Olympus, uh, Atlantia, and Tartarus, which I will be doing videos for. You got the pass! Great job! I'm glad I thought of that. With your magic and my brains, we make an unstoppable team. Okay, here's my plan. Show your pass to the guard, Romulus, outside the keep at the end of the street, and he'll let you in. He's not too bright. Then you must challenge General Achilles in combat. Cyclopses are honor bound. According to the Cyclops Code of Honor, he can't refuse to fight you. See where I'm going? Even if someone is telling Achilles to hold the students hostage, once you defeat him in battle, he will be honor-bound to free them. All you have to do is beat him. Sounds simple enough, but like I am with uh, Alakane, I'm a little worried that I'm going to die again, because 
I still don't know if they use those storm shields. If they don't use storm shields, I have a pretty good chance of winning, considering I'm storm and I boost on them. So, we'll have to see how things turn out, because I don't want things to turn out like Alicane again. Yeah, I started fighting them over here, because it, it was getting kind of annoying, like, waiting for them uh, back where I was fighting them. And they're more, like, there's more of them over here anyway, so... Uh, well, you don't look like a war horn to me, but, uh, this pass looks good, so I guess you could go in. Sounds simple enough. Now we must fight General Achilles and then finish up Cyclops Lane. And then, I think we either go onto Colossus Boulevard or Foul Gaze. You hear a girl's voice off to your left. Help us, please! We're held here by General Achilles! What? You are here to rescue these students? That I cannot allow! I am honor-bound to keep them until I'm told otherwise. But if you were to defeat me, I would be honor-bound to free them for you. If you want their freedom, you will have to fight me for it! And mind you, as General, I will put up a good fight! I don't doubt it. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Hopefully well. Can I go first, please? No. Hmm. Well, let's start off with, uh... Yeah, I think we'll start off with just hitting him. And then we can focus our attack on his little friend over there. Pixies will be crucial in this battle, I think. I'm gonna, like, keep that in mind with fighting in these areas now. Because I guess that wasn't something I really did too much against Alicane. I didn't really, like, heal as much as I should have. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we'll just use the lightning bats on his legionnaire and see what he does. I know that um, Ach General Achilles has a hammer attack where he throws it in the air and it goes per pip. And it is very bad against my health. It'll just destroy me. It's actually the exact same... Like, it, it, it's considered his physical attack, which Alakan also had. He used it on me and that's how he did 500 damage. It was like damage per pip. So it's almost like Tempest in a way, but he's more head-on about it. He's not shooting water at me. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to hit and then heal. I need to be careful with my health. I don't want to risk it too much. Maybe I'll use another... Well, yeah, I need to heal. Because I'm not going to start dying again. There we go. We're slowly taking down his health with that anyway, so that's fine. So we'll use a pixie, see what he does. Okay, yeah, he's saving up for... I'm guessing he's saving up for a Cyclops, so it's very good that I just healed. I think that's up to max health now, 633. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, hmm. I... I'll just use another spark. Then I'll hit him with the lightning bats. Fire. Oh, he's using a fire cat now. He's trying to confuse me. Gotta be cautious of these bosses. Sometimes they can be too good. Oh good, we got the stronger lightning bats. Actually, this will kill him if it does enough. It, it's able to kill him. Oh, yep, this is his physical. This will hurt not as bad as it would have, but... It still, it still hurts. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, is he dead? He might be. Yeah, he's dead. Awesome. Sound pretty well, actually. You have defeated me, brave wizard. So I must honor your request to free the students. My master will be angry that I let them go, but I must obey the Cyclops' code of honor. Go now. They are free. Okay, so let's see what they want. Thank you for freeing us. We were starting to believe that no one was coming to help us. Thank goodness you showed up. No telling who would have come to rescue us. I thought at least Professor Drake would have come looking for us, but he didn't. Thank you for coming to our aid. You're welcome. Oh, I thought it was like, okay. I saw like the one in the back left disappear and then no one else was, and I was like, whoa. What just happened? So yeah, that was pretty simple. 
I'm glad I didn't go like the other fights that we've had to deal with in the past. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> Make our long journey back. I have, I need to start using my ports still. Let me get this straight. The Cyclops were holding the students hostage in order to bring chaos to Wizard City? But who would make General Achilles do such a thing? I'm sure Professor Drake could figure out who's behind this mess if he wanted to. Too bad he's always so busy. We should tell the Headmaster how we saved the students, especially my plan to sneak you inside the keep. Still, I have to find those artifacts for Professor Drake. After what happened, I shouldn't let anyone else do it. Would you go tell the Headmaster what happened? Tell him how you were able to save them due to my brilliant planning. I'm sure he'll reward us both. I'm sure he will. Okay. Back to Ambrose, and then... Well, that's it for Cyclops Lane. It's a pretty simple area. As are all the other streets. And I think he's also going to give us the quest uh, for Colossus Boulevard and Falgaze. Quite a daring rescue. I'm glad that you were able to save the students. It bothers me that someone could force General Achilles into a sinister plot against Wizard City. I suspect that M is Malastare himself. It seems obvious that this is another of Malastare's plans to throw us off his trail. With all the wizards busy here in Wizard City, Malastare feels free to carry out his ultimate plans. Hopefully, we can catch up with him before then. Keep up the good work. Nolan seems to have warmed to you. Perhaps Professor Drake isn't far behind. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's colossal trouble and a look of horror. So we will be listening to those sets of dialogue in the next episode, so... Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.